Alright. Procreate version 5.4, build 54, etc, etc, etc. This is the newest version of Procreate. For the brushes, you now have your classic library, your Procreate library. Procreate library is the default. The way that I got everything into the classic was I did the plus up here. I said import from files, and I had told it to save onto my iPad. I chose Procreate, Brushes, and went into just one of these, selected it, and it imported everything, which is nice. It put everything in here. And then I figured out how I could sort everything into the various libraries. I'm pinching to minimize these. Now I'm going to click on this plus sign. I'm going to create a new library. I'm going to call it Purchased. There we go. And we will apply that. And we now have a new library called Purchased. Let's pinch that down. I'm going to go into the call, the Procreate library. I think is the one that I'm looking for. No, my classic library. And I am going to look for all of my purchased brushes. So I have this one right here, AN Scandinavia. If I use my finger and I drag this out, I can then tap on the next purchased one, and it will add to it. And then I can use my finger to scroll these up, looking for all the different ones that I've purchased. Let's see, I didn't actually purchase that, but these I did, and I'm scrolling up, oh, flower tiles I did not purchase, I made those, we'll fix that. I guess I have them all. So now I am going to pinch down and then tap into this one. And I'm just going to hover these over here and then release. And it puts them all there. Now this flower tiles is actually one that I made. So I'm going to take it, drag it, I'm going to pinch down, go into my classic library. Whoops, I accidentally touched with my uh, stylus there, so we'll have to do this again. Flower, drag it over. Come on, you can do it. There we go, pinch that down, and choose the classic. Now we'll put that right back where it was. You can move everything from your classic library to wherever it is that you want to go. Um, I have created a KA library. These are ones that I have created. And I thought that I had them all, but I don't, and that's okay. We'll just start with this one. And look to see if there's any others. I have so many brushes that I have created. There we 
there's one. Tap that. Okay, punch down, go into the KA brushes, and then I will just drop that right there. So now I've got all these brushes that I have created and made available various places online. And I now have the ones that I have purchased. As you can see, I'm a real big purchase guy, right? I prefer to actually make my own. The Procreate library should have only the basic ones that come with the program. Pinch down. Classic library is everything that came from your previous version of Procreate. So that's how you move brushes around. Where are your brushes? Well, if you open up your Files app, um, because I said to save my files on my iPad, right now I've got it on Dropbox. I tap on this right here, looks like a file server, and that brings us up. Now, if you had it in your iCloud drive, you would choose this. I said to put it on my iPad, so I'm going to choose this. And then I go into Procreate, go into Brushes, I've got my Classic Library, my KA Brushes, my Procreate Library, and those that I purchased. The purchased is the one that you just saw me do. We've got the Procreate Library, that's the default. All of these are the ones that come with the uh, program. Classic Library, that's the ones that you imported from your previous version of Procreate. And here's the purchase that I just now created. We can go back into Procreate now. And there we go. I hope this helps you out. And I do hope you have a wonderful day.